Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. Oof, jeez. Somebody asked me recently to discuss mental health issues. And I had a video that I feel like I'm going to upload just so you guys can watch it. Maybe it'll have... Yeah, I'm in my shower because the person emailed me. And I feel like this is a very important topic. So if you feel like it could be something that may be helpful for you, I had a video and I interviewed my daughter. This was a while ago, but check it out. Tell me what you think. I got to get ready for work. When I wake up, I read your stuff. All right, let's go. We had some serious things going on in the country recently and uh, is what it is, is what it is. But, yo, did you bring me my money? Yes. Every time she comes, I'm gonna ask about my money and y'all gonna make more money than me. So have a discussion about some real things in life. Don't touch me either. So, what'd you go to school for? Um, I got my bachelor's in psychology. Psychology. Mm -hmm. So you heard what happened in the country recently, right? Yes. And it affected my mental really heavily. So I really want to talk about this and like present it to you guys. So she went to school for psychology. She's a carrier. I would say my money, but she's paying for it now. But we're going to be serious about this. I don't really need to be part of this video because mental health doesn't affect me. I'm probably one of your most normal people you will ever meet. That was on cue, but seriously, I, I don't, there's problems that go on in the post office. We have problems in our life. And I talked to you guys about being supervisors later on and escalating and trying to give back. Just remember, we're trying to build a community. I'm reaching enough people. The change starts with you. But until that change happens, I don't have the answers to this. Apparently, she does. So, I'm gonna step out and allow her to talk. Oh no, by myself? Go for it, what you wanna talk about? Okay, so, I'm no, I'm not certified, I'm not, I have no affiliates with this, but I want everybody to know because a lot of people watch my dad vid watch my dad's videos and they feel that my dad helps them with what they're going through in the post office and everything else in between, how to get in, how to do everything. So I just want to let everybody know that if you're struggling with any mental health issues, childcare, elderly care, work-life balance. The post office has a program called the EAP, which stands for Employee Assistance Program. And I'm sure I saw everybody in the comments, you know, tagging them, or not tagging them, but commenting that the EAP is important. So we're gonna make a video about it. EAP really helps people. We all know that working for the post office has its positives and negatives when it comes to stressors and everybody has different ways that they handle their stress right but my dad helps you to get into the post office and then you're in and you feel like you're ready but then you have to work seven days a week six days a week you don't have time to go to sleep you don't have time to spend with your kids your friends you have no social life so like the question that you tell yourself is like now what right and for Example, when I started the post office, I didn't even know about uh, the EAP. Um, I wish I would have, because then I think 
that I would have, you know, handled my situation in a different manner, but now I'm over the hump and you can too with help. So what I have here is that everyone is different with their stress and it's nice to have tools that can help you. The EAP, they provide counseling, suicide prevention and childcare and many more. We all know what happened with the carrier that quote unquote went postal. It sucks because what if someone could have helped him or her, we don't know who it is, balance their life. We don't know anything about it that much, but I'm sure they do and I'm sure that the EAP could have helped. It's free. You can call their number. I think it's 24 hours and just talk to somebody. Please go out and talk to somebody because you come first. Before this job, before anyone, you come first. And um, the number, if you don't know, is 800-EAP for you. That's 800-327-4968. And you can go on their website. I'm gonna ask my dad to put the website and the number in the description box. And I hope that every video he posts, he can put it in there just in case you need any help. It's nice to talk to people in the comments. It's nice to talk to my dad, but please get professional help. It will help you throughout this whole experience of your postal career, and that's it for, for the EAP. I couldn't find your purse to get my money back. <laughs> so, did you have any time? No, you just sent her this, I'm just on the side. Oh. Did you have any times when you felt like this was overwhelming for you? Yes, I remember it was like my second week working and I would come home and I would cry. I Like the first day even, I cried. I called my mom. My dad knew all of my stress because it's a stressful situation and it pulls you from, you know, your life, your family life, your social life, all your life and like, you just feel isolated because nobody understands unless they're in it. I'm trying to understand why you didn't give me my money back there. Have you, I'm sure, I mean, you've been there for a couple of years. You, when you work at the post office, you start to bond with different people. So I'm sure you have absorbed other people's stress as well. I'm sure you know other people, other carriers, their situation. I heard you talking about child care and it could be anything, mm -hmm. finances, childcare, baby daddy problems, baby mama problems, yeah. uh, family problems at home, anything. What, what did you hear that actually, you know, triggered you or, or have you heard anything that, you know, different scenarios? Because the people that are watching, he is that you need to know you're not alone. Yeah. Let me think. I don't, I don't want to put too much people's business out there. So. Just random things. Just working more than nine days, ten days straight. Uh, I know a carrier that when they started, or after a little bit, a little bit, they were rarely ever in our office. They were set two hours away, hour away, like all of the time. And I'm sure that that was pretty stressful. And can you know, because they're not making that much money they're not making as much as the other carriers are that are ahead of him because of the seniority list. So when you are at the bottom, it's a little, it's a lot more stressful for you. You get the grunt. Yeah, you get the grunt of everything. They'll send you different places. And so imagine you live right next to your, to your station, your office, but they're sending you an hour away. Like you're wasting that much gas. Yes, you get reimbursed, but still, like, you have an hour to get back, you're not gonna be able to have dinner. This is an ex scenario. What if you can't have dinner with your family? You know? You lose weight. You lose, I lost a lot of weight. That means you're not eating as much, right? No. That means you should have enough money to pay me back. When I did start, I, lost, I went down to 120. So I did not eat much because I didn't know how to handle the stress. I felt at that moment, okay, so I graduated from college. I didn't. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do out of college. So I got into the post office. So it wasn't my plan. 
So when it wasn't my plan, my mindset was, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Instead of embracing what it's teaching me, the money, let's be honest, <laughs> and taking it with a grain of salt. Money, you said? So with that, I wasn't eating. I didn't have time. I felt like I didn't have time to eat, but you make time for what you want. So prioritize your mental health. Please, things could be, what's the word? Avoided if you prioritize your, your mental health, your physical health, your well-being in general, please. Your actions today dictate the future. Whatever it is you do today or don't do today dictates tomorrow. It's inevitable, that's in every part of your life. You forget to put gas in your car today or you put it off today. You have to do it tomorrow. If you forget tomorrow, you run out of gas. If you don't take care of you today, the weight on your shoulder gets heavier and heavier and heavier. And what happens? That term that you guys have always heard, going postal, it's always been a joke. It's always been cliche, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like oh. someone's angry in your, in your office and they're like, oh, they're gonna go postal. But these things actually really happen as we, we know, the article is out. I mean, you guys see my videos, I'm not a happy guy. This is me happy. So the stress from the job compounded with the stress of your everyday life, it does take a toll on you. And then when you have PS, piss poor supervisors that push down on your shoulders and, and you feel like you're gonna break, what happens? People break, the average person breaks. That's why military people, they usually make it not every place is the same, but if you are in one of those places where that stress is hitting you in the shoulders, I mean, everybody's going through it. It pissed me off to see that they minimized this situation. It only shot on the news for what, a day? Yeah. Maybe a day and a half. They said, oh, it's under investigation. But because it's underneath the United States Postal Service, the postal inspectors are in it now. So everybody else is just on the outside and nobody really knows all of the details. You can say you know some of the details, but you're getting little bits and pieces of hearsay uh, here and there. I posted the link on my community page, and then three or four days later, when they clicked the link, it was no more available. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, they took the link down. Like, it was on one of the news stations. They took, took it down, which means either they're trying to hush it up. Now, this doesn't mean that the post office is horrible altogether. There are ways to make it through it. Definitely don't watch my videos if you want to make it through it. Watch somebody funny, Ricky Randolph, um, and other people, but not me. I ain't trying to laugh until I get my money. When are you paying me back? This is the stuff that makes somebody go postal. <laughs> but I appreciate, I'm gonna step out. You got any closing words? I just wanted y'all to know that she came to me and she wanted to talk about it, so. I, I, I wasn't gonna speak about it. No, I don't have that much else to say, but if you are in need of help, please contact the EAP, um, 800-EAP-4U. Um, it will be in the description box and also the link. I, I, I'm gonna do it like the YouTubers say. It's gonna be somewhere here on the screen. I'm not that advanced yet. I'm still trying oh. to figure out how to turn on my, <laughs> turn on my, okay. my Apple computer sheets and I don't know how to turn. So there's not going to be a link in the No. Link in the description. It's not going to be a link anywhere. All right. Well, everybody have a good, I don't know when you're going to post this, but have a good day and I'll talk to somebody if you need somebody. Always have somebody in the post office you can talk to. I know I have a couple. We all do. So talk to somebody. Talk to the EAP, there's even better help if you're not comfortable with the EAP. There's better help, there's talk space, and talk to your insurance, find somebody that can help you with any mental health issues that you have. All right, so here was the idea that we spoke about recently on the phone. I don't do social media, she does. Thinking about doing a YouTube page, not just for the carriers, just for a YouTube community. Because I saw that these chumps were trying to do a uh, podcast for post offices or something. And they, I was like, why, why are you even trying to take me? Really? But, yeah. 
but we want a YouTube community, not a YouTube community, a, a, a Facebook community with all of you guys. So you guys can just honestly just bitch and moan to each other. That's what you guys do. But at least you'll all understand what the hell you're talking about. Mm -hmm. A community for you, by you, boo boo. And we're trying to figure it out. So when she figures out, after she pays me back, you guys will be able to go on Facebook and just, I, I'm not saying subscribe, because I don't care if you subscribe, but be able to go in there and, and, and chop it up. And you know, network with people that are going through the same thing you're going through. Yeah. Making the same money that you're making. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with the same people. No, don't, no. Don't, don't, should I edit that? Yeah, don't do that. You, okay, all right. Um, that about it. Yes, you know, I'm gonna say it. Subscribe to the channel. I don't say that. Okay. I don't. I don't care if they subscribe. All right. This channel is for information. If you do, great. But if you don't, it is what it is. Thanks for the support, though, and we support you too. Support me by paying me back. If if you make it to the end of this video. Type in the comment section, section, pay your dad back, please. All right. <laughs> Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.